من خلص نفسي وفداني Hi, uh, I am Rita and today we have Pastor Sinod uh, from Arabic Baptist Church, uh, Boston, in Newton. So how are you, Pastor, today? I'm fine, thank God. And you? I'm fine. So, Pastor, today I have some question. Uh, it is like when I was, uh, I didn't know God, it was very hard for me to understand uh, this question. And um, it, it's not easy for my brain to get it. So, my coach, I have two questions, actually, not one. The first question, who is God? And how can I, by my limit brain, to understand and to find out and to reach God? This is my first question. And my second question will, is God one or three? Does a Christian believe in three gods? Do you have three gods? So I hope that you can explain these two points for me or to people who don't understand it in a simple way. Please, thank you. You've chosen two of the most difficult questions on the face of the universe. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and we'll try to go and answer from the point of view of this street man. I'm not going to be a theologian. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to be very simple in how I'm going to answer you. Mm -hmm. First, we know that the atheist says there is no God. Mm -hmm. And uh, he's entitled to say whatever he says. But unfortunately, that the Bible tells us uh, the ignorant said in his heart that there is no God. Mm -hmm. Uh, I'm not trying to say that the person is ignorant. I'm trying to encourage those who don't know about God to try to find God. Mm. Uh, because we know a limited amount of knowledge. Mm. And the limited amount of knowledge generally doesn't, get, uh, doesn't give us the true way or the right way to understand God. Okay. Then there is another group of people who would say, I don't know. I don't know if it there is God or not. This is another mistake from their side. Mm. They sense that there is a God, but that's a mistake. Mm. Why don't they go and research and search? Mm. And because everybody knows that God is, I mean, everybody who says that there is God knows that God is unlimited. Mm. So if I say, I don't know, maybe I should ask him, show me yourself. Mm. So I encourage all of those who say, I don't know, mm -hmm. please ask God, show us yourself. Mm. Then I come to the third group, which is, we call them the believers. Mm -hmm. And the, generally, the believers, they believe because either somebody told them, mm -hmm. or they grew in a family to tell them that, mm -hmm. or they met God through their heart, mm -hmm. or they met God personally. Mm -hmm. So faith says we don't follow on what we touch. Mm -hmm. God, you can never see him by what you touch, mm -hmm. but you can see him by the way he deals with us and in many, many other ways. Mm -hmm. uh, faith is to believe and to be sure that you have that item. Mm. Okay, if you want to know God, yeah. my answer to you is yes. believe in him uh -huh. and ask him, who are you? And he will answer you. God is a spirit. I will never see him by material. Mm -hmm. And those who want to know God should worship God by the spirit too. Mm -hmm. If I want to know him, I have to know him by the spirit, not by what I touch. We, we, we know that there is air. Yes. Do we touch the air? I can't find the air. No. But mm -hmm. the air is there. We mm -hmm. believe it is there. Mm -hmm. God, in one way or another, he put eternity in our hearts. Yes. That encourages, encourages us that we should go and search mm -hmm. for God because God put it in our hearts. Mm -hmm. uh, we will never find God through length, width, uh, height, or through time because those are created items. Do you know, or through atoms or through uh, this or that. Mm -hmm. By the way, even time is a created entity. Oh. Time mm -hmm. has a beginning, mm -hmm. time has an end, yeah. and God is outside that time. Mm. So I can never find God as long as I'm thinking from the point of view of the material or the dimensions that I know. Mm -hmm. So since God is outside of the time, he sees the beginning, mm -hmm. he sees 
the end to. Mm -hmm. And how can God uh, reach us with our limited brain and limited time since he created all of that? He wants to let reach us. How can I, I? I just get a proof that God is here. Okay, let me go into uh -huh. one more thing. Okay. God chose to show us himself yes. through mm -hmm. the nature, Yes. through whatever we see around us, mm -hmm. and finally through the most important thing, through his son. Okay. His son came and lived among us because the son, which is Jesus Christ, mm -hmm. is the only image we can see mm -hmm. from God. He ex expresses God's nature to us. He has all the beauty, all the brightness, mm -hmm. all the power, mm -hmm. all everything mm -hmm. that in God is expressed in Jesus Christ. Okay. And he shows us himself. And that is the image that God created us on that image. I'll mm -hmm. tell you a little thing here. Mm -hmm. When God said, I'm going to create mankind mm -hmm. in, in his wonderful counsel, mm -hmm. the counsel of God, God mm -hmm. the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. I'm just giving it in like a story. Mm -hmm. uh, said, oh, but mankind will sin. Mm -hmm. We have to redeem them. We have to save them. So, how do we do that? I will go down, live like, with, uh, like any human, be with them, mm -hmm. without sin, and give them atonement, and give them redemption, mm -hmm. without going into the details. Mm -hmm. But God the Father said, oh, my son is going to go to this earth. Mm -hmm. What kind of an image I want him to look like? Mm -hmm. Oh, a beautiful image. So he created us that way. That's the image mm -hmm. that... Jesus Christ would take when he comes to this earth. Uh, the whole universe tells about God. If we see how vast that universe, mm -hmm. from where did it come? It didn't make itself. Mm -hmm. it, is, it is made by the wonderful uh, wisdom mm -hmm. and handiwork of God. Mm -hmm. But we always say, no, God doesn't exist. Let me tell you something. What the, uh, the scientists say, what we see from that whole universe mm -hmm is 4%. Okay. Everything that we see is 4%. Wow. Mm -hmm. And there is one, one, one more percent, okay. which is the neutrinos, which are the, the smallest of God's creation. Okay. That can have a one, one more percent, so mm -hmm. that's 5%. Mm -hmm. 20 more percent is on the dark matter that we don't see it by our own eyes, but we feel it by senses and, and that. Mm -hmm. How about the other 75%? Yeah. They call it it is the dark energy okay. because they can touch it, they can see it, they can feel it, they can do anything of that. Mm -hmm. But they say it exists. Mm -hmm. Tell me, how does it exist if you don't see it, if you don't touch it? Mm -hmm. But when we come to God, we say we don't see him because we don't, well, that's why we don't believe him. Mm -hmm. uh, that is not correct. Uh, if we say there is dark energy, then we should say there is God because God is known by his creation. The Bible, uh, 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 there are few things that testify about God. The history that tells yes. us there is always mankind saying, I met God. I saw God. God came to talk to Abraham. God talked to Moses. God talked to Elijah. God talked to this and that. And then God stood by uh, mm -hmm. his people in the past. When they needed some, uh, something, uh, he, he gave it to them. Mm -hmm. They asked him and he gave. So that's the history. Jesus Christ is a historic figure. It's not just an imagination of somebody who wrote something about mm -hmm. him. So that's what the history. Science tells us and that, that God exists because there is nothing. Nobody was able to put some material in a box and had that box make itself something else. Okay. So faith and science, they don't work against each other. Actually, okay. science shows us well, our faith is right. That's if you have an honest scientist. Why the scientists don't uh, tell about God? They don't like to say that there is a God. Why? I'll tell you this. This yeah. is a very important thing. Yeah. A, a researcher mm -hmm. gets money. We call it grants. Mm -hmm. If he reaches the conclusion that God exists and there is the maker there, yeah. he's not going to get a grant. Okay. So he will never ever tell us. Even that, you know in his heart there is God? Uh, even, I don't know. I didn't get into their hearts. Okay. But I would say 
they do not want to say that God exists. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, they will lose their grasp. What is he researching mm -hmm. if God exists? Yes. He's trying to reach things. That, mm -hmm. that, mm -hmm. So that's... Then the other thing, the testimony of the heart. Yes. My heart, God put in our hearts. Eternity, he put it in our hearts. That's why we search for God, the Lord of eternity. Yes, true. And that is from God. He created it in us. Mm -hmm. And also the direct appearances. God appeared to be. And then when God deals with me, you know, every morning, mm -hmm. I say, good morning, God. Mm -hmm. God deals with me every morning. Mm -hmm. And that is another thing. He talked, as I said, to uh, Moses, Abraham, Joshua, this and that. Yeah. Then the most important one. Yes. Which I mentioned it lightly. He came, Christ came in the flesh, lived among us. He said in, in, in John, before Abraham was, mm -hmm. I am. That means I exist. Not I was, mm -hmm. I exist. Mm -hmm. in, no, in, no, in no time factor in. Mm -hmm. I and the Father are mm -hmm. one. Okay. Whoever saw me, saw the Father. Mm -hmm. Whoever sees me, sees the Father. Okay. One last verse from the Bible, which is wonderful. Yes. It says, he emptied himself, taking the image of a slave coming, living among us. And that is one of the greatest testimonies. Okay. Uh, so, can I summary what you said to us? Like One a, last thing. You have something Go else? to the Bible and you'll find a lot of other things in it. Okay. Go summarize it. Okay, yeah. then you will give me later where can I read it in the Bible. Okay. So, I will summarize what you said or what I understood, which is mm -hmm. uh, because we are humans, we are limited. We have a limited brain. And to, we cannot reach the God by our limit brain. So, everything in our and around us is like limited. The time is limited. The time is was created, has a start, has a beginning, and has end. Then... Uh, for God, because he loves us, and he loves a human being, and he wanted us to reach him, so he took a human image and came here as a limited creation to reach us and to Not let creation, us... creation, limited being. Limited being, okay, thank you. And he took this uh, limited uh, being to let us uh, just deal with him and understand him and uh, to reach our limited brain and limited heart. Is that correct? That's correct. Yeah. I want to ask you a question. You, you know, you told me at one time that you believe in God. You, you believe in the presence of God. Yes. And you believe practically all what I said. Yes. Tell me, God is so good. Shouldn't I give him to everybody around me? Of course. Then, what do you do about that? Actually, uh, I was in darkness before, and I, I didn't know anything about God and the, the real God. I didn't know about Christ. I mean, like, Jesus Christ is God. It was hard for me to understand it and how God become a man. And then, by the grace of the Lord, he made it, uh, by the Holy Spirit, of course, made me understand it. So what I do right now, um, I'm trying to, whatever I reached, whatever I understood, I go to my brother and sisters, my friends, the people who are far away from God, to reach them by the internet. We are lucky now we are in the internet time. So what I do, I go and I preach them. I explain to them the difficult point you are explaining to me right now, which it, it took from me like seven years to understand it uh, because I didn't have a good pastor like you before. Oh, come on. <laughs> so that's what I do. I, I reach them, I minister them, I, I send them the message that God gives to me and he blessed me with. So uh, if there is some question they ask me, if they don't uh, understand something, they ask me, and I, by the grace of the Lord, I can explain that to them. And some of them, they accept what I say. And as you said, I always go back also to the, uh, the Bible, the Old Testament, and explain to them the proof. And uh, by many other ways from other religion, we can also prove God, is Jesus Christ, is, is a God, and he made a man to come to be limit to us to understand him and to get close to him. So this is how I do it to reach uh, the people who don't know God. Keep doing it. So <laughs> <laughs> I will, I, I will. And then that is the, this is the, and my heart is on fire to teach the people what I got myself. God bless you and thank you for that. Thank you, Pastor, and uh, thank you for being today here with us and explaining this to, to everybody. It's because it's a very difficult point to reach God. Thank you. God bless you for that. Amen.